welcome back. You may see the scales there. I've been just weighing some things. <laughs> um, anyway, the neck. I've done. A, I've redone the plate on the headstock uh, and redone the logo so it's nice and straight. And I filed the back down, and the logo's up the right way now. So when the guitar's up the right way, the logo's up the right way. So the headstock is about sixteen mil, which is fine. Just had to take off a millimeter. So I would like it thicker, but that's okay. Sixteen's fine. Um, thankfully it wasn't thinner to start with if it had been I would have just put a, a mahogany plate on the back um, but no that's fine so that's that done neck currently weighs about two and a, just over two and a half pounds and that's just bare um, but it's it's a huge piece of wood though isn't it I mean, it's a massive neck so it's going to weigh a bit the body weighs about seven pounds so this is not any hardware I think so far. Now, obviously, there's going to be a big hole in it for the control cavity. I am going to be doing a belly carve and the top's going to be getting carved as well. That'll take some off. But I'm also thinking about altering the thickness. Um, currently the, the top is 18 mil. So that's that's kind of line where the binding would be. So that will carved down to there, which is quite nice. I quite like the deep carve like it. Eh? I think it'll be more comfortable as well. Um, I think if you've got a deep carve, your arm kind of rests more on the carve and less on the the edge of the guitar. Um, so I don't know. I am thinking about knocking a millimetre or so off the top though. Uh, nothing too much, just a skim. And then taking a few millimetres off the back. But the, so this, this currently weighs like seven pounds, like I said. <coughs> It's, it's actually bang on seven pound. So we'll do some skimming and tweaking and then we'll see what it weighs after that. I'm gonna guess it's not gonna do a lot to it, but we'll check and see. Millimeter off. What's that done to the weight? Oh, it's taken off about oof, a couple of ounces. Right, <laughs> what's, what's next? Well, next thing I need to do is put this neck back in and see how far they need to take the pocket down. <sighs> Obviously the pocket will need to come down to, to match, otherwise the neck's going to be sitting too high. <clears throat> About six and a half. So taking all that material off has taken about half a pound off. <laughs> it, it's not it's not a huge reduction really, is it? That's good, about 48 thick. Good. I'll do that then. I'll do that. Just been doing the usual with the string, masking tape, the bridge in place, and it's looking good sweet. I'm just going to double check measurement between this last fret to the front edge of the bridge, which is all looking good. So I think what I'll do is I'll get this uh, eeny meeny miny mo. I'll do one of these. Get a nice sort of. Mm -hmm. Mark this one here. Let me just mark them all.
Sorry, I'm just looking at this uh, pickups. Uh, yeah, looking at the pickup positions and stuff, how I'm doing that. I'm actually going to knock this back a bit. I'm going to put it just over like five mils or so to walk closer to the bridge than I normally do. Um, I think it'll still work fine, to be honest with you. I think it's just going to... I don't know, these, these pickups are quite amazing. They, they, uh, I was reading to you, they, 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 they're wired in parallel instead of series. You know, most humbuckers are like series, um, but these base things are uh, in parallel, which is interesting. Don't know why it's interesting, but it pretty well is. Anyway. I think the next thing I need to do is to sort out all these ends, these get the edges all straight basically, they're all a bit, a bit lumpy. So I'm going to straighten them out first. Right, so that's that done. Now this first hole is going to be a dual concentric pot, but the thread length on these are only six millimeters. So what I've done is I've done this recess it's about two and a half millimeters, um, so that when I've finished doing the back, the cavity, I can take this will be down to about three, three and a half to four millimeters or so, and that'll fit this just fine. And that's a little recess for the nut to fit in just because it's because the threads are so short so that will be fine anyway now i've got to do this get this lined up on the back 
So let's do that. There we go, right. All I do is I just get, you've seen it before, um, I get something flat, in this case a little block of wood, place that on the inside and then use my Pioneer calipers 3.9 give or take, that's like spawn. Yeah, perfect, so that's them done. Yeah, it's my carry, so I've still got to do the plate for it, but get around to it. Um, I think we need to kind of drill in some holes. Let's get some wiring holes done, shall we? Right, so we've got our holes all drilled, cavities all in place, there's the bridge wires up there, and that's the pivot wires that come through there. Um, yeah, pick up cavities done, binding channel done. Yeah, I did the binding channel first because I was I was thinking, what if you forget, and then I go and drill this hole, and then I go and try and do the binding channel, and I have a nasty surprise, so they'll get that done. But that's good though. Um, so I think next up we'll be carving the top, but that's for the next video. I'll leave this one here just now. When we come back we'll see about marking up and uh, see if we can get this top carved. Eh? Cool. Anyway, as usual, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like, comment, etc. And I'll see you again soon. Cheers!